First, let's start with what the law of attraction is before understanding how it works and what it takes to work. Jack Canfield, an American author and corporate trainer, defines it this way. The law of attraction states that whatever you focus on, think about, read about, and talk about intensely, you're going to attract more of into your life. The law of attraction states that whatever a person thinks and believes, they attract to their lives. So, think of the human mind like a magnet. Like attracts like. You become what you think and attract. Abraham Higgs, an American inspirational speaker and author, once said, Think the thought until you believe it, and once you believe it, it is. History has shown that so many successful people who believe this law used it and it worked for them. Interesting, right? Well, the question we should be asking now is, how can we make this law work for us? Well, in this video, I'll share with you how the law of attraction works. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on exciting videos like this. Have you tried washing a greasy plate with just water? Would the grease come off? I don't think so. But have you also tried washing off that stain with a liquid dishwasher soap? Would it come off? At this point, I'm pretty sure it will. The question is, why? Why can one solvent take off the stain and the other can't? It's the law of like attracts like and unlike poles repels. The law of attraction, as the name implies, only attracts things that are like it. Your mind only attracts your thoughts. Okay, maybe that sounds scary in the sense that if the thought of you being chased by a lion crosses your mind, does it mean that in that same instance, a lion will appear right where you are to chase you? Of course not. So, what do we mean by saying that your mind attracts your thoughts? It's like this. The law of attraction operates on three levels. There is spiritual, where thoughts are formed, the intellectual, where we start getting ideas, and the physical plane, where the results manifest. Here's the pattern of the law. Thoughts lead to feelings, which lead to actions and results overall. Here's the formula. Thoughts, feelings, actions, results. For instance, say you look at your bank account and it is low. Because of this, you begin to think thoughts of like and want. This thoughts, in turn, will lead to feelings of depression, weariness, etc. As a result of those feelings, you begin to imagine and hold ideas of poverty in your head. The end goal of this will turn out to be a repeat of what you don't want, another low bank account balance. However, if instead of thinking negatively about your account balance, you think of seeing millions in your account, it will lead to a feeling of happiness and satisfaction, which will in turn lead to positive imagination around money and things you can achieve when you have it. The result of this thought pattern will be what you thought about in the first place, wealth and abundance. So you have to think about what you want, feel it as though it is real, and imagine or conceptualize it to manifest. However, it is crucial to understand that other factors make the law of attraction work for a person or not. 1. Clarity of goal. With the law of attraction, it's like the universe asking you what you want because your wish is its command. What will your response be? For instance, I want money isn't being specific. I want XYZ amount of money is more like it. Brian Tracy once said, people with clear written goals accomplish far more in a shorter period than people without them could ever imagine. You see, until you know precisely what you want in your life, your thoughts will always be all over the place. And as long as that is happening, you can attract the things you want with your ideas. So the first rule to attract what you want is knowing the exact thing that you want. Also, you only have to think about what you want, not what you don't want. John Asaraf, an entrepreneur and author, said, most people are thinking about what they don't want and they're wondering why it shows up over and over again. Remember the bank account example above. When you think about what you don't want instead of what you want, you really get more of what you think. Remember the universe doesn't know what thoughts are good and what thoughts aren't. It's only doing its job of bringing you your most prominent thoughts. According to Lisa Nichols, a motivational speaker, your whole life is a manifestation of the thoughts that go on in your head. 2. The frequency of your thoughts. If we are right about the human mind being a magnet, it means that the stronger the magnet is, the easier it will be to attract magnetic substances. For your thoughts to come to manifestation, it'll help to increase the frequency of your thought. How often do you think about the things that you want? The frequency of your thought lets the universe know how much you want it. So get serious and intentional. 3. The feelings attached to your thoughts. Remember the process of the law of attraction. It starts with the thoughts, to your feelings, action, then results. To get the result of your thought, you need to attach the appropriate feelings to it. 
For instance, you can't be thinking about becoming rich and still feeling so negative about your financial status. No, your thoughts should reflect in your feelings. Abraham Hicks once said about the law of attraction, the universe never asks you to struggle. It is simply answering your mood. So, if you think that your thought is all that is needed to make the law of attraction work for you, then you should have a rethink. Dr. Danis Whitley, an American motivational speaker and writer, said, When you realize, then you materialize. If you've been there in the mind, you'll go there in the body. Jack Canfield said, To receive that which you're intending, you must become a vibrational match for what you want to attract into your life. So, according to Canfield, let's say you want more love, become more loving and generous with yourself and others. By creating the vibration of love, you will automatically draw more love into your life. If you want more money, Canfield suggests that you write yourself a check for the sum of money you wish to manifest this year and post it in a visible location. Every time you see it, believe that it is possible. He adds, remember to take a moment to be thankful for everything that you already have. By doing this, you are creating a vibrational match for the financial abundance that you want to attract into your future life. The good news is that the law of attraction money is easy to come by. Once you learn the techniques, you start to see changes quickly. In conclusion, the law of attraction is pretty much straightforward. You attract what you think and believe. To do this, however, you must think about what you want. Believe it enough to fill it, act on the idea of it, and then see the results that you want. The good thing about the law is that you can use it for almost everything in life, whether it is money, health, love, and relationship, etc. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.